it up. All right, Fishaholics, well, welcome back. We uh, just uh, rode our Quiet Cat Warrior about two miles down this trail here on the east side of the Indian River Lagoon down here in Florida. And this is my second time fishing along this area. And my first time was uh, only a couple days ago. But unfortunately, we found some fish along this area, but uh, failed to catch a whole lot and get on a consistent bite. I only caught this one small snook on a little bass assassin swim bait and I had one other follow on the spook but uh, I saw a lot of other fish that we just uh, spooked and uh, they, they had no interest in our artificials. So uh, for today's fishing mission because we got the waders on we're gonna cut through the mangroves and wade fish along here like we did a couple days ago but uh, we're gonna start with the artificials try that for a couple hours and then I want to try uh, catching some live bait and seeing if that helps our chances of getting on a better bite. So let's uh, get after it. Stay tuned. Hopefully we uh, catch some fish today. All right, so I'm gonna start off by casting around this uh, dark matter, Fishaholic Pulsar Popper. And these bugs in this area are absolutely horrendous today. But I'm thankful I brought some bug spray. And on our first cast, when we were first here, I had a follow from a nice snook right off this lay down. So I'm gonna work this area really thoroughly before we move south. Well, look at all this bait in the water. Still not sure what kind it is. It could be maybe little greenies or maharas, but uh, it looks good. So, oh my gosh, that is so much bait. We're gonna have to uh, just fish maybe with this popper for 30, 40 minutes and come back here and try and catch a bunch of this bait. Looks like some finger mullet mixed in too. All right, no bites on the popper. And I'm gonna try throwing on a much subtler presentation. So I'm gonna get out one of these little trout eyes jig heads. and a Kitech Easy Shiner swim bait. And hopefully we can get a bite on this little profile. All right, well, we are skunking it out of the park with uh, the artificials, so Let's uh, go back to the bike, grab the cast net, and uh, see if we can catch some bait. Ton of minnows right here. Oh my gosh. We got the mother load of 
little greenies. Oh my gosh, look at that. We are set on bait. Oh, that is awesome. One and done. If we don't get some fish on these, I, I don't know if we'll ever get fish in this spot. Hopefully these guys stay alive in the bucket. I'm just gonna throw them in here and then toss them right back in the water in the bucket so that they get uh, some oxygen. But it's kind of hard to put them in this little bucket, you know, while that you know we're wading in the water. All right, now I'm gonna go rig up my rod for the live bait, and we'll be good to go. So I'm thinking about setting up a float rig with this uh, bobber that has a ton of rattles in it, which I think could work for attracting fish. And then they see our live bait dangling below it and uh, can't help themselves from slurping it up. I'm just gonna tie this uh, bobber on with a loop knot. Oh my gosh, the mosquitoes are trying to bite me, or they are biting me through my shirt. They weren't too bad when we were wading out on the water, so I gotta get out there as quick as possible. And now, I'm just gonna take uh, probably like three foot of this 30 pound fluoro. And then just one of these tiny little mustad circle hooks. Look at all. The other bait that's here, there is so much in this little pocket along the mangroves. Wow. I'm surprised there's not more fish hanging out uh, right outside where this bait is. <clears throat> All right, just hooked into a nice fish. Right on the edge of the mangroves. Gave me a sick first run, but I wasn't recording, so I missed it. Oh yeah. Found ourselves a nice snook. I had a feeling any fish along here could not resist one of these little baits. There we go, we got them. And the circle hook did its job. It's not a giant, but it's a start. All right, well that was really cool. And what I was doing there is uh, once I had the bait just sitting right here off the mangroves, I was giving this bobber some pops and I was getting the rattles to uh, shake around because I figured, hey, you know, if there's any snook cruising around in here, if they hear those rattles, then they'll hone in on that noise and uh, then they'll see the bait and everything went to plan. 
but uh, I stopped uh, pressing record because my confidence of us getting a bite was uh, kind of low, but uh, hopefully we'll get the next strike on camera. That was a decent snook that just popped on this bait. There's a huge school of greenies right here. There he is. That was a cool eat. Oh, it's a little jack. That's why I was so uh, aggressive. It was like, whoop. Cool. Just spotted a mullet or a uh, snook cruising along the mangroves here to the right. I'm gonna see if I can get him to come out and grab my bait. Oh yeah, he's creeping out. He is creeping out. Come on, buddy. I don't know how he didn't see me. He must have cruised right along here because I saw him swimming this way. I'm gonna try popping the bobber a little bit. See if he hears that. Oh, he's cruising right out for it. There he is, that was awesome. That was so cool. This snook could not resist. Woo! That was just so awesome to watch everything come into play by shaking the bobber to you know make it rattle. And I saw him turn his head and, and notice that noise. And then I saw him see the bait and he was like, oh my gosh. He's, you know, he wanted that bait. <laughs> he ate it so quick too. That was so cool. My day is made, dude, figuring out the bite here. There we go, dude. That is a nice inshore light tackle snook and look at that circle hook did its job flawlessly all right well i gotta say it again that was just so cool uh let's uh change out the gopro battery on another bait and get back out there, see if we can get some more. Oh, got a nice one here to the right of me. I don't know if you can see him, the dark, dark object. I'm gonna try and be very stealthy. He doesn't look spooked. Oh my gosh. He ate it. No, he ate it and spit it out, dude. Oh, now he's spooked. See him cruise by? Dang, that was a nice fish, too. Oh, my bobber is gone. Fish on. Oh man, what is this? 
A little jacky? Yeah. I looked away for a second and then I heard the rattle and I looked out, I looked out there and I was like, oh, the bobber is gone. There must be a bunch of these little guys out there chasing uh, the mullet around. Because uh, every so often, you, you know, you see the mullet just like fly out of the water, but uh, I haven't seen any big like explosions or blow ups on the mullet out there. I got two snook, I think, or one that are cruising right along the mangroves. There he is. Did he, did he get the bait? He missed it, dude. There's a fish. Little guy. Oh my God, he's going crazy. <laughs> Look at my little greenie got away right there. <laughs> Sorry you didn't get the bait, bud. They say there's a little trick that if you put the bait down his mouth and throw him back, he'll swallow it. So at least I gave him his snack. Another little guy. Oh, I love these baits. It's like instantaneous. And your hookup ratio is really good. Whereas sometimes with mullet, the bait gets over the hook point and then you end up missing the fish. There it goes. I'm gonna try standing up on this tree right now and see if I can get up really high and spot some snook cruising. I got a snook right here below me. Look at that. <laughs> Real tiny little guy. I was hoping to spot something big cruising around on this flat and uh, I had my bait just dangling in the water there and I saw I had a bite and then I was like, oh yeah, there's a little snook just, he was hiding out right underneath that limb. All right, well, I am loving this bite that we were on today. But unfortunately, we've got uh, like 45 minutes to an hour left to fish. And uh, we fished to the north along the mangroves about a quarter mile, it looks like. And uh, it seemed like the further north we moved, uh, the less bait I saw. So uh, we're going to head back south and fish the same stretch. And uh, the tide also switched around and is starting to go out now. So I'm hoping that uh, we'll go south and we'll find... Uh, more bait in that area where again where we uh, had our first uh, few fish and I'm um, hoping there'll be more fish staging in that area that we can pop before uh, calling a day. So let's do it. Oh my god, giant jack dude. Giant jack chasing mullet. Who knows where he is now, but there's no way he's gonna eat this bait. I highly doubt it. If he does, we're gonna be in for an epic battle. Oh, 
our bait flew off the hook somehow. It's hard to catch him without that on there. Oh, fish on. Another little snook. They're here in full force, munching on these little greenies. All right, well, we're back at the bike and unfortunately gonna call it a day. I've got like a little date later, so I gotta get out of here. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, it seems like as the tide started going out and we started getting later in the morning and uh, approaching early afternoon that uh, the bite just died. And I was kind of expecting that. So that's why I got here as early as possible and uh, still super content with uh, the bite that we got on because we did way better than our first time here where I fished for like eight hours and had one little bite in the very end of the day from that one snook that you saw um, in the beginning of the video. And uh, we did try the lures again today and uh, same thing, no bites really on them either. But uh, as soon as we caught the bait, it was like instantaneous we started getting bites and uh you know come to think of it i think this is the first time that i've cast netted greenies and used them as bait so uh, that was really cool to do and i'm um, definitely definitely going to do it again because uh they really do work but uh, anyway if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to smash the like button hit that subscribe button and a uh, huge shout out to quiet cat for hooking me up with this really sweet ride so i can ride the two miles down to get to this very spot and if you guys want to check them out, I'll put the link in the description and as well as a code so you can save a little bit if you pick up one of these bikes. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So until the next video, like always, live to fish, fish to live.